It's dark because it's 5.45 in the morning and we're driving to a ham fest today. This is going to be a fun road trip. Been driving just under two hours. Threw my call sign out on 6.52 uh, maybe four or five times. I'm going to stop off here and top off the gas tank, get something for breakfast really. But uh, I've got the all-star node running as well. And I, it's a little early for 20 meters, but I got the HF radio on 20 meters and there's a couple of Spanish stations out there speaking Spanish, so I didn't, I didn't uh, participate in that, but I will be monitoring for POTA today as well. So I'm gonna do some POTA chasing. I'm gonna call out on 6.52 simplex several times during this trip, and I'm going to be monitoring the All-Star system. There's a lot of people connected to All-Star right now. So thank you to all of you who are connected to All-Star. Turn your radios on also. I've had several conversations on All-Star this week with the same three or four people there's a lot more people connected than that. The topic for today's episode is that we are driving to a ham fest. We are driving to Mina, Arkansas today to attend the Queen Wilhelmina Ham Fest, or however you say that. Never been to this show before. New experience for me. First time I've ever gone to this show. It comes highly recommended from several folks, including Richard at Main Trading Company. He really likes this show. So we're going to see what it's all about. And today's just going to be a driving episode of talking on All Star, talking on Simplex, and doing some POTA hunting from the HF radio. Hey, good morning, Eric. N1JUR from KC5HWB. Uh, morning, Jason. How are you doing? Uh, what, uh, what adventure are you on today for your uh, 30 days? <laughs> I am driving to a ham fest uh, this morning, driving to Arkansas. Um, we left Galveston. I left about 5.45 this morning, and uh, I threw my call sign out and on All Star, see if anyone's monitoring. I don't. Th I don't think anyone was awake that early. Driving up to Mina, Arkansas, for the Mina Ham Fest this weekend. Good morning, Jason. Uh, KK7 Papa Echo ah. uh, here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Heard you talk to Eric a little earlier as he's getting ready to go out to his live stream. Yeah. And heard you're on a uh, bit of a road trip to Arkansas. I uh, hope you're driving safe. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of driving safe. <laughs> I, keep, I keep messing with my radios and my APRS and my tablet. So if my wife was in the truck right now, she'd be yelling at me. But other than that, I've, I've, I've yet to come to any harm. I'll put it that way. Roger that, roger that. Plan on coming home with a trunk full of new stuff, or are you just uh, out to look and get some uh, video content for this one along with that photo? <laughs> I imagine it'd just be video content. I mean, you know, I'm always on the lookout for something cool, but I don't really need anything. In fact, I got too much stuff already, but uh, you never know what you're gonna find at a ham fest, so we'll see what we see, but I'm just really going for the content sake and to, uh, I, there's two or three people there that, uh, that are friends of mine. I'm going to meet up with them and then um, also the POTA thing for sure. Like I said to Eric earlier, yeah, the internet has been, since I've been on this road, it's been kind of up and down, so I, I might lose you here in a minute, but just FYI. And currently you're coming in uh, perfect, uh, all quieting as they would say if it was a real repeater, uh, and a uh, nice solid signal, but uh, yeah, I get you, I get you. Well, I'm going to probably let you uh, roll here in a minute. I am going to, before it gets too darn hot, jump on my mountain bike and whip out 20 miles or so this morning. <laughs> and, uh, Good luck to you come back and play a little uh, chasing. Okay, man. Well, thanks for being connected to the system. I'm going to do some poda chasing here myself in a few minutes, so uh, good to talk to you. 73. KK7 Papa Zulu Echo, I think it was. KC5 HWB. Kilo, Kilo 7 Papa Zulu Echo, clear. Yeah, those VGC radios, and you can go turn that off, but most people, it's on by default. Most people don't. He, he probably can't hear it. <laughs> So he doesn't hear that little squawk at the end. For some reason, the Chinese think that it's beneficial to put a little squawk at the end so you can hear when people unkey. And I guess if you're talking simplex, then maybe okay, but it's still, it sounds terrible in my opinion, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo Mobile. Uh, the mobile station, come in. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo Mobile. Okay, Roger, Roger, copy 2270. 
You're about at 5758 uh, uh, with the band up and down because I'm moving probably into uh, East Texas, uh, Echo Tango X ray. Yeah, well, you're holding up there, five and seven, no problem with the copy. Okay, well, QSL, uh, thanks for uh, picking me up. Good luck to you today. Thank you, sir. 73. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo Mobile. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo, the South Carolina 57 and the South 58 and the South Carolina. Alright, I'll do that. Okay, QSL, QSL, I copy 2895 from both of you. Uh, you guys are about a 5757 into East Texas at the mobile station. Seventy-three. Good luck to you. This is the Buckeye Net on fourteen point two six two. Okay, November five, uh, Alpha Zulu Tango. I think it was. KC five HWB. I just passed two cars with antennas on. Maybe not ham radio antennas. Hard to tell. Doing about sixty miles an hour, and they were going that way. No six point five two activity at all today. None. Okay, we're here. And I originally said that the Samfest took place in a national forest, which it is. I'm pretty sure we're inside the Wichita National Forest right now, but we're actually at Queen Wilhelmina, something like that, state park. And boy, this is a nice state park. There's a whole lodge back there. There's a full restaurant. This is a nice area right here. So I'm looking forward to seeing what is going on. I rented an RV spot. I don't have an RV, but I'm renting an RV spot so I could plug in tonight, charge my batteries up. So that's where we're going down here. And I did hear some activity on 6.52. Two guys were talking, but just right as I got here, it's raining off and on. If I didn't come back to this ham fest, it would be because it rained so regularly here. I'm glad I came here. Gonna look for, looking forward to getting information for the video today looks like a really cool spot honestly but we'll s try and figure out what it looks like rain wise is that my spot there could bring the RV up here did not do that this time because we just came from Galveston there's some tents down there or right there a tent right there oh, there's a there's an antenna all right the ending of day nine I drove from Galveston Texas up to Mena Arkansas today for this ham fest. And I walked around the ham fest. I got here about 2.30. The ham fest shut down kind of around like, they did the grand prize drawing for today at three. And people kind of cleared out after that. The vendors kind of shut down all their stuff. I went up to the, uh, there's a lodge and a cafe and a full bar up there. I, it's kind of a full bar. They were out of a lot of stuff, but it's supposed to be a full bar. <laughs> but this is inside of a state park. Inside of a state park, there's a lodge and like a motel, uh, like a hotel, not a motel, with doors on the outside of the room that lead out to the balcony, but doors on the inside that lead to a hallway that's inside. And there's a full restaurant and a full bar, and this is a really, really cool venue. I think if it wasn't for the weather, this would be almost perfect. Now, right now, the weather is fine, but it rains off and on. There's been some high winds predicted for tonight. I don't know what's going to happen with that. One of the things I never liked about a rooftop tent is, which is where I'm at right now, I'm in my rooftop tent, in case you guys can't tell. This is the rooftop tent on the back of my truck. I never really wanted a rooftop tent because if it got windy, I'd, it feels like it would blow around too much, but I don't know. Uh, the couple times I've used it, that hadn't been the case. This is just a really cool venue. So tomorrow, we're going to walk around the venue, talk to some people, talk to some vendors, get some shots of all the tables and whatnot. So thank you for everybody who worked me today on the bands. Did uh, 
several all-star contacts, several HF contacts on the way here. Did not hear any activity on 6.52, so get ready to light up 6.52. This is what we need to do. I challenged you guys the other day, and today, during that seven and a half hour drive from Galveston today, I threw my call sign out probably about eight to 10 times throughout the course of that drive. When I would come into a new city and, you know, the speed limit would slow down and I'd see some businesses and whatnot, I would throw my call sign out and never got a response. There's some 6.52 activity here happening around the Ham Fest, of course, but nothing between here and Galveston. So we need to change that. We need, as I challenged the other day, we need to change that. So today's update for the donations. Okay, we are up to $2,000. We have a total of 38 donors as of today, and there was only one person who put a note in yesterday's donation. It was anonymous again. It said, in memory of Charles Walter Thorne, W7YBY. So W7YBY, so in honor of him. So thank you very much for that donation. Later, AWRL Kevin at AWRL emailed me again and says, hey, another update and interesting info, some really great news. He was running the numbers of the donors who are giving because of the outreach, because of this effort that I'm doing that's new to them. Over 80% of you guys who have donated are, are first new and first-time donors. And this is a huge and extremely helpful because it's extremely hard to find new people who want to donate to this program and support their efforts. They call it new donor acquisition, and sometimes I have to, he has to spend a lot of time with direct mail or travel outreach to bring in new donors. So thank you, those of you who donated for the first time to AWRL. We are at $2,000. We've got $28,000 to go. This video is being recorded four or five days ahead of time. So realistically, it's only about four days into the program, into this 30 Days of Ham Radio, when I'm reading you these donors. So check out the link in the description below, awrl.org forward slash 30 days. Tomorrow we're going to walk around the Mina Ham Fest, Queen Wilhelmina State Park, is where we're at, the Mina Ham Fest in Arkansas. And we're going to get some video of things happening around here. 73 guys, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.